Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel and to today's video where I'm deep cleaning the bunny room. Before I get started, the buns need to have their breakfast so they're having their morning nuggets in their favourite activity toy. This is by Trixie and I got it from Amazon last year and they absolutely love it. I love how excited Willow gets when I get this toy out when she's running around in circles. Ronnie is also a pro with this toy and the girls know what they're doing because they leave him to do all of the hard work while they just wait for all of the nuggets to fall out. When cleaning the bunny room, I always shut them in the living room so they are away from any cleaning sprays and I also pop in there as well their large hay box and also their bowl of water too. I actually filmed this video a couple of weeks ago but it's taken me so long to do the voiceover to it and we actually don't have this Ikea bed anymore as I've recently changed it for something else but here I'm just giving it a quick vacuum using our Shark Detect Pro. Then it's on to picking up all of their chew toys and moving all of their toys off their whole box so we can start cleaning. First it's on to the inside of the Ikea hull and I do clean out their litter boxes every other day but every day during the summer months. I removed their litter box, sweeped up any bits of hay or rogue poops, then went in with my Shark Detect Pro with the dusting tool and then gave it a clean with some white vinegar. On days when it's not raining, which is very rare in the UK, I usually put everything in their room outside on the patio, at least then I can just give everything a deep clean and nothing's getting in my way. That didn't happen today though as it was pouring down with rain. I moved their hull, their air purifier, gave their rug a quick vacuum and then moved their rug too. Next it's onto their treat shelf and I gave it a quick clean and restocked all of the jars. In the jars they have their selective loops, fibre fur sticks, nuggets, two different types of forage and dandelion roots. Next it's on to giving everything else a little dust, their pitcher, their olive tree and then I went on to vacuum the skirting boards. I then emptied their litter boxes and gave them a clean using white vinegar. I then topped it back up with one of our favourite litters. This is Back to Nature and it's made from recycled paper. I then received an exciting parcel from Scrub Daddy which included their special edition Scrub Mommy Spring Shapes. These include a butterfly, a chick and my personal favourite, a bunny shaped scrub mummy which I had to unbox straight away to clean the bun's water fountain. Once clean, I then refilled their water fountain with fresh water. I absolutely love how much water this holds. Then it was time to get my Shark Detect Pro back out again and give the floors another vacuum. Then it was time to mop the floors using my favourite Shark Hydrovac. I know I've already hoovered but I absolutely love this because it hoovers and mops at the same time. I always find that even when using a regular mop and I've hoovered beforehand, you still get bits of fur that end up all over the floor. So this just makes life so much easier as it will pick up any bits that you've left or any rogue bits of fur so your floors are left absolutely spotless afterwards. Once 
once the floors are fully dry I then pop their rug back down and I'm giving it a quick vacuum here just to get rid of any creases and make sure the rug is completely flat then I completely forgot that I never checked the filters on my air purifier and this right here now is why I have an air purifier it is a godsend when you have pets in the house as not only does it help with our allergies and our hay fever but for me I also find it helps to reduce the amount of pet fur that you will usually see floating around on the floor. The thing I love about the new Shark Never Change 5 air purifier is that the filter lasts for up to five years. With our previous air purifier I was having to change the filter every six months and it was around £40 every six months per filter. So not only is this air purifier going to save you money in the long run, it's also good for the environment and it's just honestly a must have for me if you have pets, especially indoor rabbits. I then pop their whole box back, pop their litter box back inside and then topped up their hay with their Timothy hay. This gets topped up of a morning if needed during the day and topped up again before bed. I also get asked so many times why their food is next to their litter box and this is because rabbits eat and do their business at the same time. I put the lid back on the hole, popped their vet bedding back on top and then gave that a quick vacuum, added their toy basket back, their stacking cups, chew toys and they also absolutely love these chew mats which I get from Amazon. I then cleaned their litter box that they had in the living room, topped up with litter and fresh hay. I absolutely love this custom litter box that we had made by JS Wood Hobby and I know so many of you have purchased it too. I pop their water fountain back down and let the buns back in and we are done. There's nothing more satisfying than a nice clean bunny room even though it will probably only last around 15 minutes. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video.